Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Angular how we can apply lazy loading on routes. So first we will understand what is lazy loading. Then we will make one component for new page. And for this page we have to make routes. And on this route we will apply the lazy loading. Then we will test this will working fine or not. And we will also compare, nor uh, compare normal routes with the lazy loaded routes. And at last we will discuss some important interview questions related to lazy loading. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so let's move on first question, what is lazy loading? See, with the help of lazy loading, you can only load the required code in your Angular application whenever you are using that uh, Angular application. So let me explain it a little bit more. So by default, whenever you are loading your Angular application in the browser, it loads the old code in one time. But let's say in your application you have 100 pages, then your application will be a little bit slower because 100 pages will take some time to load in your browser. So what you can do, you can load only the required pages, which you need frequently or maybe the pages you just required immediately, right? After that, which pages you uh, not widget uh, usually or the pages which are not which is not required or the pages which has lots of data, then you can load on them on demand. So for example, let me give you one example. So this is the YouTube application and this is made in the Angular. So uh, these watch letter likes video and then your uh, play, uh, playlist and your videos. This is not uh, so important routes. So you will not load these routes uh, by default. So you will only load these routes whenever we will click on these routes. So this is how lazy loading works. So by default, it will load the all other pages except these pages which we where we apply the lazy loading. And when we are clicking on these links, then the lazy loaded routes will be uh, loaded in your browser. So this is how you can save uh, your loading time in your application. All right. So now let's see how we can do that. So for that, first of all, I am making one page with the name of let's say admin or something. Get not get ng g for generate c for component and your component name is let's say admin page or something. Yeah, admin is enough, I guess. And then to let's create a normal route first, then we will apply the lazy loading over there. So go to the app.component.ts and there define a path and in this path you can see that let's say admin and then component which will be loaded there which is admin component which is very simple. Then you have to go to the app.component.ts and you have to import two things. First one is route router link and second one is router outlet. Yeah and now move to the app.component.html and then create a link there and replace this href with the router link put admin there text go to admin or something and then just simply use router outlet you can close it now if you visit your application you can see that we have this go to admin page right and Let's go to the sources, then pages, and you will see in the resource in app component, this admin is already present there. Even this is not loaded in the uh, your screen. If I just click over there, then this will be loaded, right? We know that. But by default, this is present there, right? Again, go to the page, then app, and here, here you can see that this is already loaded. Even as I told you, this is not required. And second thing, uh, if you go to the uh, network tab and if you load this page application uh, uh, this application again and if you click to go to the uh, admin only one CSS file is loaded there that means the JS is already loaded for this page also right but if we will apply the lazy loading then when we click on the go to admin then this page will be loaded to the browser all right so now let's understand it more uh, yeah so go to the app.route.ts, comment out this, define one more path, path name can be same, no issue, 
but the component that we will use that will be loaded uh, differently now so now what you need to do uh, in the place of component you have to put their load component right and with the load component you have to make a arrow function like this then you have to use the import function and inside this import you have to put the path whatever path you are using there then simply use dot then and c that means component you can say that and then it will be load c dot ah no not cache c dot i don't know why this cache is coming there c dot oh, what is this here user um now auto suggestion is sucks so better is c dot again the same thing yep c dot admin component like this now i have to fix it uh, i guess the return should work there no mm, let me check this is the basis last basis and uh, yeah there we can close this places yeah now it should work right so come back here now let me close uh, let me clear this and if i just click on go to admin now you can see that uh, chunk dot something dot cs file, uh, js file is also loading there and this the name of this component is admin component right so now this is loading and if you visit the sources and again uh, app then here you can okay let me go back to the route then refresh it go to the pages source app and here you can see that we have only one component app component there is no admin component and if i click on the admin then this is loaded so this is how uh, you can see that lazy loading works and this is how you can check lazy loading is applied or not okay so in interviews they can ask how we can apply lazy loading they can ask syntax and they can ask definition also so that's all for this part if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm or gpay donation number and thank you so much for uh, watching this video guys